What's up boys and girls, hustlers and hustlets? It's the first of the month and we're going to begin with a hustler challenge. The challenge this month is $10,000. Starting today, you're going to make $10,000. Let's kind of get into some usual questions. Lyndon, what should I do? What should I sell? I don't know, motherfucker. This is one of the areas where you're displaying your laziness and apathy. You come to the channel, you want me to find out what you sell, figure out the stuff for you, make the money, make the decisions, and don't get paid nothing. It don't work like that in the real world. So if you don't know what you should be doing, you have no clue to what you should be selling or what type of business you should be in, you, my friend, have a lot of work to do. Dane, my job, my job is to provide the blueprint. My job is to talk about sales and marketing. Your job is to bring whatever this thing, service, gee whiz, this amazing offering to the world. That's your job. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Well, you can get all this information free on the internet. Go get it. Make it happen. But just to dispense with that silly question, what should I do? How do I make money? Seriously, there are so many ways to make money. What you got to do is pick one. Now, why is that such a challenge and why is that so hard for so many people? A lot of people are lazy. They don't want to think. They don't want to do research. They want someone to figure it out and then they want someone to figure it out, tell them what to do, show them the way on an undefined, uncluttered marketplace where they can make a lot of money easy. You know how delusional you are. You know how sad you are. I'm saying this to Chase. All of the lazy, no account, good for nothing, low expectation people away from this channel, away from this challenge. Because there are many of you who took the challenge last month. And there are many of you, congratulations, you exceeded the challenge. So I am challenging you guys to do not one, not two, not three, but four times as much as you did last month. Many of you did it in like two or three days. This should be cake for you. Why am I doing this? I believe in 12 months to 20 months, or let's say 11 months to 19 months, we're gonna be in the midst of a recession. So right now, while things are good, you need to be getting it and getting it while you can so you can make a lot of money while you can, while you can get it and stack up your chips and get yourself ready for this recession by having a lot of money on hand. For those of you who are just like new to hustling, when this recession hits and you got 20 to 30 grand in the bank, you will be able to quadruple that. And in some cases, if you're a slick hustler, you're gonna be able to 10 exit or 20 exit. But you're gonna need some money. Right now, we're in a state where hustling without any money is super easy because there's plenty out here. In a recession, money does not stop flowing. In a recession, money constricts. Credit constricts. Don't stop, it just slows up. So if, while everyone else is pulling back and you can walk into situations and deals with money like, pow, here's 10 Gs, let's do this, you're gonna come up. You're gonna come up like you wouldn't believe. You'll be in control of your destiny. But you need to act now. <laughs> this is the thing that cracks me up. I made a command decision. I made a CEO decision last not last year to shut down my consulting business. Consulting business was healthy, it was doing great. Did 1.5 million last year. But I saw where my business was going. I saw the clients that I had, and I was like, man, I've got a lot of e-com clients. I have a lot 
this is not long term sustainable for me. I could have probably elked it out maybe another year or two, possibly, but I made a decision to let that go to get in on this creative empire, to get on being a creative, to get on creating items and creating products that sell over and over and over again. My first book, Making Money A to Z with Self Storage Unit Auctions, is still selling eight years later. I mean, that's just, I, you know, it's, I wish that I had put out 30 books like that. Oh my God, I wish I had put out 30 books like that. But now I know. So I'm getting ready to put out a lot of products, a lot of books, a lot of training that I can sell over and over and over again. Now, let's talk about this. A lot of you want to be like me, but you haven't had my education. And what I mean by that, you haven't run a business for 10 years. This is where you're gonna run into some problems. There was someone who chimed in, he's like, hey, I'm gonna run this business for a year, then I'm gonna create courses. So I said, run that business for three years, run it for four years, run it for five years, then create the courses. You got a lot of people out here who are creating courses who have no experience in what they're creating courses in. Uh, this chick, she wrote a book about the, how to make money with video. Her Facebook was strong, her Instagram was strong, her Twitter was strong. Her YouTube was weak as fuck. <laughs> I mean, it was like, really? You gotta be kidding me. You see this stuff all of the time. Because I am a big proponent in not asking permission. So I get that. But when I jump into something, I actually know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. I have experience. Like the thing with law. Before I had my situation, I had been in court a few times for other situations due to business and credit. So I knew how to approach court. I knew how to talk to judges. So it wasn't like I was starting from scratch, which is what a lot of you folks are doing. And I'm not trying to shame you or talk down to you but you need to be real because if you think that you're on my level okay let's prove it it's one thing to put off some shit in some in a, in a comment because this is my new challenge to all haters think you're just smart as me prove it i'm gonna be real respectful i'm gonna like hey go ahead and create your own channel create your own following do that and then i'll answer your questions no one has even responded to those challenges for some reason because essentially a lot of the people are jacking off. They're not about business. They're not trying to build anything. They're not trying to create anything. They're just here to entertain themselves and whoever else will laugh at their antics. They're not serious. These people are the cancer of success. Let me say this again. These people are the cancer of success. They're lazy. They usually have low intellect. They don't give a damn about anything of worthy. Each time I get one of these challenges from one of these fools, go to their YouTube page, it's World Star, it's video games, it's rap, it's the same shit time and time again. Where your attention is is where your money is. Let me say that again. Where your attention is is where your money is. Their attention ain't on money. Their attention is on bullshit and they want me to play with them and I'm not playing with them anymore. I'm just not. So this month on this challenge, I'm challenging everybody who has made their $22,000 last month, cash money above and beyond what they needed, I'm challenging you guys to do 10 Gs. Now I already put up there what I've done for the year on my Facebook page. Even at this, uh, cause I cut my income. I made $70,000 in roughly the first three months of the year. Well, January, I was still cleaning up some stuff. I still had some old stuff. So February, March, and April, 70 Gs. That's what I'm doing. You can go check out my Facebook page. It's open, you can see it. And you can see that this is not some printout either. It's a real screenshot of the money that Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills has made. 
So for some of you, who, well, what are you doing, Glendon? Well, I've made more money last year than you'll make in your fucking life. That's what I'm doing. Statistically, statistically, a person makes 1.2 to 1.7 million lifetime. Don't believe me? Look it up. Go check it out. That's what I'm doing because a lot of you want to jack off over my money. I don't need your decrepit sperm on my loot. You should be more impressed with the $2,000 that you made last month because that's money you can spend. Let me say it again. You ain't jacking off to my money. I don't need your decrepit sperm on my loot. How much are you making? Are you really a millionaire? Blah, 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 blah. I got more money than you. That's clear. And instead of engaging in the conversation of how to get money, how to build money, you want to try to tear me down because you're a demo person. Demo people are not trying to build shit. They just trying to tear stuff down because they can't figure out how to get it. So I'm going to tell you how to get it. I'm going to tell you how to get your own money. I'm going to tell you the things that you need to do to get your money. First of all, you have got to stop jacking off and looking for the magic bullet. You have to stop playing games with yourself. As Keeter said, you have to stop the excuses. That's number one. You got to get real with yourself. Number two. You got to take stock of your abilities where they are now. Let's say your sales ability out on a scale of one to 10 is a one. You got to work on that. You cannot get to level five before you conquer level two. So you got to humble yourself to where you are. When I was selling office furniture, there was this couple, they really liked me. I thought the deal was in the bag, wasn't in the bag. So I went back to them and I said, look, uh, I want you to tell me the truth. I'm not going to beat you up. Why didn't I get the deal? And then they just laid out some stuff. And I was like, okay. I took notes. And I shook their hands. I was like, thank you very much. I fucked up. That's what it was. I lost the deal on some simple shit. But I never made those mistakes again. Because I had the ability to go to these people and say, hey, where did I fuck up? Many of you will never ever do that shit because your ego is so big, your ego's bigger than your wallet. I wanna be in a situation where my wallet is bigger than my ego. And that's what I did. And a lot of you are not gonna do that. A lot of you gonna keep throwing stones at these videos, talking trash, and staying poor. So those are some of the things that you gotta do. Another thing that you have to do is pick something. Stop wasting time like I want to do this I want to do that no 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 go back to what is your skill sets what are your abilities where, where do you where do you fit in and work from there work from a place of truth that's where you need to be operating from a place of truth because whether you want to accept the truth or not the truth is going to deal with all of us in its own way sooner or later and this, this is this is just the reality now, another thing you have to do is learn how to work hard many of you think you're working hard working 40 hours a week but you're you're taking like 60 hours a week off of leisure I mean if you got your millions you got your beachside condo you got your in town uh, townhouse and you got a few million in the bank relax knock yourself out but if you are living with your mother or you're living with roommates or you got a piece of shit car or you are ducking your baby's mama because you don't have child support uh, you don't need to be relaxing you don't need to be going on vacations you know what I mean I don't understand what is this millennial preoccupation with going on vacations when you haven't done shit with your life. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. So you need to learn how to work very, very hard. Because 
that is going to be something that will change your life. Working hard is something that you can control. Working hard is a element, a strategy, a part of success that you can control. You can pull that lever. You got to work hard. Another thing you have to do is deploy a strategy. I understand that new things are exciting. I understand new technology is exciting. Usually it's going to be something that is tried and true that will make you rich. Once you get your money from something that's tried and true, then you get into this esoteric stuff like Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Hey, holla at me. Anybody that made $1.5 million from Bitcoin last year, scream at me. I want to hear from you because that's another game. Everybody who was making money out here in these streets said the same thing I did about Bitcoin. I looked at the videos. They were like, don't do it. Don't do it. It's a scam. Don't do it. And all these broke people who never had any money. Well, no, it's real. You don't understand the blockchain. You don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on the blockchain. How many of those folks lost money? How many of those folks are holding? Holding on for dear life? I haven't even checked the price of Bitcoin. I, I don't even know where it is. Maybe it went up, maybe it went down. I don't know. But it ain't the same as making active income. It ain't the same as pulling down that long green. It ain't the same. Because the thing is, when you have a business and you make money, you get to spend that money you get to use that money right now. Bitcoin was a beautiful concept and it got prostituted by whales. I mean, when you got one person, you know, selling off $400 million worth of Bitcoin, that just reeks, that just screams of market manipulation, man. It just does. People don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it because people don't want to work. People don't want to experience delayed gratification. Mm -mm, not me. Not me. I'm James Turner. I'm too pretty to work hard. I'm going to let all the mother people work hard. And you know, James is going to go from this thing to that thing. And when James is 60, 65, he's going to marry some fat hoe with six kids because that's all he can get. Because James, he ain't doing any work. He ain't, do no, he ain't put no time into anything durable. He didn't build anything. He was just out here hustling without a plan. So for all of you folks who want to make this 10 G's, this is what we're going to be talking about. And in the comments, I want you to say what you're doing. I want good comments. I don't want, what should I sell? I might just say fuck you if you put that in the comments. I want, hey G, I'm thinking about doing this car wash. That's like something that makes sense. Hey G, uh, what about this? You have got to bring to me the thing that you're trying to do. Not, I'm going to do it for you. Look, I'm sure your penis is clean, that's what you told me, but I'm not going to run your penis into the bathroom and hold it while you pee. You got to hold your own dick. I ain't doing it, not even with gloves. You got to hold your own dick. You got to get out here in these streets and get it. A lot of you want to do digital products. I totally understand why the profit margins are insane. But physical products are easier. I sold physical products for 10 years plus. 12. I sold physical products for about yeah 12 years. Physical products for 12 years. I didn't just jump into this. I sold physical products for 12 years. It is easier if you're a beginner. I ain't saying you can't do it faster than I did. I'm just saying you got to get some seasoning up in your skills. A lot of you are unseasoned. I'm just saying. So this is the preamble. We are hustlers and we're going to make that fucking money. We're going to get that fucking money. We're going to work hard, we're going to serve a lot of people, and we're going to get a lot of money. We will have no Jody's to the wayside 
Mackenzie to the way. No, no, no. Y'all fall, y'all fall to the wayside. Bye. I'm gonna be just like that mean ass first sergeant who used to call people out by name. And he was like, I don't want him mentioning my name. I don't want him saying Cameron falling to the wayside. Fuck that. So you have to put on your big girl panties, your big boy drawers, and get it. And it all starts with action. You can think, you can wa watch videos all day long, but until you get your janky ass out here in the mix, ain't nothing happening. Nothing. Not a damn thing. And that is why there are so many people online who fail. They're trying to automate. Oh, let me talk about that. Well, Glenda, you don't understand. This guy told me this um, about five years ago. Well, Glenda, you don't understand. You'd be more successful if you automated it. Now, I'm looking at him, and I've already profiled this fool. He made, I was like, how much money have you made online? Total. And he says, I don't know. I was like, you made that much money? He said, well, I haven't really made any money online yet, but I'm going to. Or to use that southern slang, I'm fixing to. So here's this person who's made no money online trying to tell me someone who has made millions of fucking dollars online how to make money online i get this shit all the time like well if you do this you from people who never made a penny online never made a fucking dollar nothing no money nothing nothing they just think that they're gonna make a lot of money and see there's this thing called life <laughs> there's this thing called reality it has a way of dealing with those people and it's usually not very pretty. It's quite harsh, really. So I checked on his Facebook page before I left. And uh, he got a job. Let me say it again. He has a job. Yep. And he happy as hell. Because being a business owner, getting money out here, you're a warrior. You're fighting, you're fighting a war. You out here killing dragons. You out here being a man. You out here being a hero. You out here being a woman of a woman. You being an Amazon fucking woman. Out here getting money in these streets. You are a different kind of animal. And there ain't no shame with getting a job. There's none. There's no shame at all. I mean, we people who own businesses we need you people to do jobs. There's a great and wonderful beneficial relationship with that. Everybody ain't cut out to be the boss. Everybody's not cut out to, you know, be a shot caller. It ain't, it ain't in a lot of folks. And that's cool. So some of you might just need to side hustle for the rest of your life. And with a good side hustle, you can also become a millionaire. It's just going to be a little slower, but you can do that. So strap up. Get your, get your weapons on, get locked and loaded, because uh, this month we're gonna be intense. It's gonna be about making that money. It's gonna be about building these assets. And there is no future in the fronting. There is no room for punks, bitches, half-steppers. Ain't no room for that. Y'all about to see a whole different side of me in these comments. I'm just saying. 